so we are going to learn 7th standard science lesson number 10 so the name of the lesson is disaster management okay so here they have given the various news items about the disaster so the first they have given the truck abgathat tigansa murtyu second is mahad bridge collapse the third is Varda Vadla Che Chennai Taiman and again Russia Che Viman Kosala. So here yeah, they have given the various items about the disaster. Okay. So come down now. We can prevent certain disasters while it is necessary to take precautions in the case of some other disasters. Natural and man-made disasters are related to each other. There are two types of disaster. One is the man-made and other is the natural. So natural disasters such as famine, lightning strikes, cloud bursts, storms, etc. occur due to the changes in the weather. There is the possibility of damage to property in such natural calamities. So who is to be held responsible for that? What can we do to deal with this losses? Okay. So famine. The condition that arises due to the long term and severe scarcity of the food grains and water is called the famine. Famines can be very severe. All true the main cause of famine is natural phenomena, yet a famine condition is created by some human activities besides some natural events. Okay, so you have to think what will happen if no food were grown during one whole year. What will happen? Okay, so now we are going to learn causes of the famine. Drought, heavy rains and flood, crops getting washed away or damaged in the flood, environmental changes such as the temperature change, storms, cold waves or fog, damage of crops by animals like what like the mice and the rats, attack of pests, locters or diseases of crops, a natural calamity like earthquake etc are some of the causes of the famine. So these are the causes of the famine. Of this, drought is the main cause. Okay. Man-made causes of famine include war, internal unrest, absence of transport routes, uncontrolled population growth. This is the man-made causes of the famine includes okay so come to the pink box in the past famines are not a new phenomena the problems of drinking water food and fodder for animals date back to historic times chhatrapati shivaji maharaj and chhatrapati shahu maharaj implemented many schemes to overcome the famine of their times. Okay, their water supply and water storage schemes are ideal even in today's circumstance. You too can make schemes like this to face future crises and disasters, which will be of use Use not only in your own life in the future, but also for the society at the large. Malik Amber implemented a canal scheme for drinking water in Aurangabad. It exists even today. So collect more information about it. So now come down. So are we responsible for the Famine. First, water storage is increasing as the balance between the rainfall and the population is disturbed. Water shortage, okay. Water shortage is increasing 
as the balance between the rainfall and the population is disturbed. So through there has been a very high rise in the production of food grains as a result of the green revolution. The balance of the environment has been lost due to use of chemical fertilizer, pesticides and the vericides. Okay. So third is unlimited lifting of water, erosion of land and the misuse of the water. So come to the yellow box. What can we do to ease the severity of a famine? First is planned usage of water and reuse of water. Second is proper planning of water conservation and harvesting at the local level. Third is large scale plantation of trees and prevention of the deforestation. And the fourth is making, making appropriate changes in plants taking into account the weather forecast. Okay, so this we can do to ease, to ease the severity of a famine. So, come to the orange box. Large scale tree plantation, no famine, no land erosions. Compose a variety of such slogans and use them during environment awareness rallies. Okay. So, now come to page number. Come to page number 66. So, here we are going to learn about the so here we are going to learn about the cloud burst what causes rain okay what's the question what causes the rain so sometimes the water coming down from rain clouds does not reach the land in the form of rain. Okay. Sometimes the water coming down from the rain clouds does not reach the land in the form of rain. Instead, due to very high temperature near the land, it vaporizes and goes back into the same clouds. As a result, the amount of vapor in those clouds becomes very high. Due to rapid condensation, it rains suddenly over a specific and small region at a rate of 100 mm per hour or more than that. So this is known as the cloud burst. Okay, come to the purple box. Do you know? So, a cloud burst occurred at Leh, Ladakh, Ladakh on 6th August 2010. So, in Ladakh, a cloud burst has occurred in 2010. The cloud burst that occurred in Mumbai on 26th August 2005 was extraordinary and unforgettable. On that day, it rained about 950 mm, that is 37 inches in 8 to 10 hours. And the entire city of Mumbai was waterlogged and flooded. Okay, this is very, very important to remember, okay? So, now, flood. What is meant by flood? What are the effects of it? So what is meant by the flood and what are its effect? So we have already learnt about the floods and the effects of floods. Effects of the floods. Collect the information about the floods that have occurred on various places in Maharashtra in the last few years. So you have to collect the information. So, productive measures in view of floods. First is construction of small dams in mountain 
regions second is construction of the percolation tanks third is making river beds flat fourth is cultivation of new forest fifth is connecting rivers so this is the protective measures in views of the flood come to the yellow box so government of india established the national flood commission in 1976 in the year of the 1976 the commission has made special efforts towards the control of the floods a plan regarding flood control is kept ready from national level to the village level from the national to the village level large scale damage of the property and loss of life can be avoided because of this plan okay so now what is lightning have you seen a flash of lightning in the sky yes thunder when and what causes lightning you have learnt about the generation of the electric charge and lightning strikes in the lesson on static electric city okay in this lessons we shall learn something more about the lightning and the measures for protection from it okay